Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the Darkwing Duck episode Dirty Money. The episode basically begins at a bank. Jay Gander Hooter is asking Darkwing Duck if he can help figuring out what exactly happened at the bank. So basically all the money there has been made into money paper with fucking nothing on it. Now who could have done something like that? Now Darkwing Duck says he will gladly try to figure out exactly what happened. And then later on in the same episode, Hooter gets kidnapped. And who's the kidnapper? Well it's a fucking cleaning lady. Yeah, a cleaning lady is a villain for this episode. The fact that this episode could take something as boring as cleaning and make it into something fucking bad ears is fucking awesome and I love this episode for that. The main villain of the episode is Ammonia Pine. She basically uses tools like a vacuum cleaner and uses them as a fucking weapon. And that does make her a very fucking creative villain. And yeah, I really like that about her a lot. But anyway, after her Hooter has been kidnapped, the guy sitting in his chair is Vladimir Gordonov Grislikov. He's basically an Asian for the Asians he serves. And I'm gonna say that I think that he is an asshole. Why do I say that he is an asshole? Because he has issues with Darkwing Duck for stupid reasons. He has issues with Darkwing Duck mainly because of the fact that he is fucking jealous of him. Yeah, he is fucking jealous. Because clearly Darkwing Duck has stopped more criminal than that guy did. And he can't handle that therefore he is fucking jealous of that fact. Now he tells Darkwing Duck that he's only allowed to help if Darkwing joins the agency. Why the fuck would Darkwing Duck wanna join such a shitty agency anyway? That asshole puts Darkwing Duck to a lot of tests. And by no surprise Darkwing Duck is able to beat all the fucking tests. That gives Chris like have no choice but to accept Darkwing on the mission. But unfortunately Darkwing has to deal with waiting for the cleaning lady to do her next crime in a car that's full of fucking diapers. That must be embarrassing. Now Darkwing is supposed to call the agency but decides not to and attempts to stop the cleaning lady. Oh, and another thing that I must mention, that asshole agent expects Darkwing to follow the rules of his yeti book. Why the fuck would Darkwing wanna do that? Clearly his ways of stopping crimes work a lot fucking better than any of the rules in the yeti book. The next weapon that cleaning lady Amonina Pine uses is something that makes bubbles come out of there. And those bubbles are able to stop Darkwing's weapon from working. And that truly is fucking awesome. And a huge bubble sends Darkwing Duck and learns part far away. But after the bubble is popped, Darkwing and learns part fall down on the fucking ground and are able to survive it. Darkwing goes back to the search agency and flat out tells that asshole Grislikov that he refuses to follow any of those stupid ass rules and that he prefers stopping the crime his way. But that asshole tells Darkwing that if he interferes with the business of that agency again he would be sent to jail. Why do people like Darkwing and Batman always have to deal with those assholes that don't like them interfering with the business? And why can't cops, Asians and stuff like that just be fucking thankful for it? I mean cops and Asians can't be at 
different places at once. So they should be fucking thankful that there is someone out there who is willing to help stop crime. But anyway, later on, Darkwing finally finds the hideout of a morning in a pine. But that the ESL agent fucking arrests Darkwing because of the fact that he is an ungrateful bastard. But thankfully that cleaning lady gets that agent before he manages to put the Darkwing to jail. And now comes a fucking epic battle between Darkwing Duck and a morning in pine. And yeah, the battle truly is fucking awesome. Dar Arkwin manages to get her arrested and he saves Hooter and that ESL Asian. Now you would think that by now that ESL Asian would be thankful that Arkwin stopped that criminal. But no, he is still upset with Darkwing for stupid reasons. But at least Hooter thanks the Arkwing for stopping that criminal. At least that's a good thing. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This episode is fucking awesome. I think that the idea of making a cleaning lady a BFS villain is a great idea. And that ASL agent I mentioned throughout the episode, I don't think he's a bad character. In fact, he is someone I love to hate, and that's a good thing. So I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. Well, guys, that's all I could say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.